Hello everyone and welcome to a new video of reinforced concrete design. Within this video we'll be learning how to use design charts to design for singly and doubly reinforced concrete rectangular sections. There are two uh, main design charts in the BS code for rectangular section. The first one is charts for the singly reinforced uh, concrete rectangular section when you have only steel reinforcement in the tension side. And also we have second type of charts. It is for the doubly reinforced concrete rectangular section when you have tension steel and also compression steel. For the first type of singly reinforced concrete rectangular sections, we have only two design charts in the BS code. One is for F yield 250, and the other one is for F yield 460 megapascal. However, for the doubly reinforced concrete rectangular uh, sections, we have several charts starting from chart number three to chart number 20. And we have many charts because it depends on the concrete compressive strength, the F yield, and the D dash over D. Let's start and learn together how to use these charts. And we are going to start with the first type of charts, which is the charts for singly reinforced concrete rectangular section. This is showing one of these charts. We can see here that this is the rectangular section. We have only steel in the tension side, no compression steel. The B is the width of the cross section. The D is the effective depth, and X is the distance of from the compression phase to the neutral axis. This chart is chart number two. The F field here, we can see it is 460. Let's see what is this chart. The vertical axis of the chart is uh, giving the value of M over BD square. M is the uh, ultimate moment. B and D, this is a cross section, and this should be in Newton per millimeter square. In the horizontal axis, we have the tension steel reinforcement ratio starting from 0, 0.5%, uh, 1%. So we use these values to get the reinforcement ratio and therefore we'll be able to get the area of the tension steel. We can see here that we have four different uh, lines here or curves. Uh, this represents the value of FCU or the concrete compressive strength starting from 25 megapascal, 30, 35, and 40 megapascal. So how to use this chart? It is very easy. Usually it will be given to you the concrete compressive strength, the F yield, dimensions of the cross section B and D, and the M ultimate. This M ultimate is the applied moment at that cross section. It can be given to you directly, or you can have the ultimate load, and using the structural analysis, you can calculate the M ultimate. So what is required in this case? The required will be the area of the tension steel, how much it will be this area of tension steel. So what are the steps that we should follow? It is very easy. The first step is to calculate K, which is M over FCU BD square. This K should be less than 0.156. If it is less than 0.156, it means we uh, have a singly reinforced rectangular section. However, if the value is greater than 0.156, we will need uh, doubly reinforced rectangular sections. And therefore, if it is greater than 0.156, we should go to the other type of charts when we have compression steel. So, if it is less than 0.156, it means this is the suitable charts for singly reinforced rectangular sections. Then I'm going to calculate the value of M over B D square. So let's calculate the M over B D square. Uh, based on the value of M over B D square, we will going to see where will be this value. And then we will go horizontal at the values that we have. Then we intersect with these curves. Based on the curve that we have here for concrete compressive strength, we will go down to have the uh, reinforcement ratio or tension steel reinforcement ratio. Based on that ratio and that equation, we can calculate the area steel because it will be the only unknown in this equation. And once we have the 
area of, of steel, we uh, can choose the suitable diameter and number of bars. So it is very easy. M over BD square, go horizontal, intersect with a suitable curve, go vertical down. And from here, we can specify the value of uh, reinforcement ratio. And therefore, we get the area of tension steel. Let's take an example to uh, see this together. In this example, we have a cross-section of the beam is 250 for the width and the effective depth is 700. So B and D are given to us. The uh, moment M ultimate is 300 kilonewton meter and it is required to use the design charts to calculate the area of the tension steel. F field is 460 megapascal. FCU is 40 newton per millimeter square or 40 megapascal. So again, let's apply the steps first we have to calculate k to see if this will we have to use a singly reinforced rectangular section or it will be doubly reinforced rectangular section so the m is 300 and don't forget to multiply by 10 to power 6 to change it from kilonewton meter to newton millimeter and we substitute the value of fcu b and d square and therefore, the value that we have it here is 0 0.08, and this is less than 0 0.156. This means no compression steel is required. And therefore, we can go to chart number one or chart number two based on the uh, concrete compressive strength. So here, once we choose the chart, it will be chart number two because it is FCU is equal 40. Uh, or F yield is 460. So M over BD square is 300 times 10 to power 6 divided by 250 times 700. And don't forget the square. So this is 2.45. And for the F yield 460, the design chart in this case, we use design chart uh, number 2. Let's go and see the chart together. This is a chart number 2. And this is singly reinforced beam and F yield is 460. So this is the suitable chart for uh, our example here. The value of M over BD square that we already calculated, it is 2.45. So what should we do? We go at 2.45 here and then we go horizontal. Then we intersect with the curve of 40 megapascal and then we go down and here we have to get this value from the uh, this uh, axis here. So this value here, it is 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and this value is 0.7. So it is somehow before 0.7, I choose it here as 0 0.68. So 100 AS over BD equals 0 0.68. The only unknown, it will be the area of the steel. We can calculate the area of the steel. It is 1,190 millimeter square. So from here, you can choose a suitable diameter and get the number of bars. Here, I choose 40, 20, and the AS provided is 1,257, somehow higher than this value. And once you did that, this is the design of that section. So it is very easy. Calculate M over BD square, go horizontal, intersect with the suitable curve based on the FCU you have, go down, and get the reinforcement ratio, and therefore you will be able to get the area of the tension steel. Now let's move to the second type of charts, which is for doubly reinforced rectangular sections. We have from a chart three to chart uh, 20. And here, this is showing that we have area of tension steel, and also we have a dash or compression steel. So we have Compression steel, tension steel. This distance here is called B dash, and this distance here is called D. And the B is as usual. X is can be seen here is the distance from the neutral axis to the uh, the compression side of the concrete. Here we can see that we have three values: FCU, F yield, D dash over D. And we have different charts based on FCU. Also, we have charts for 250 and 460. We have also different charts for D dash over D, starting from 0 0.5, 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0.20. Okay. So based on the values that you have, you will choose the suitable chart according to your uh, problem. And then let's see what we have in this chart 
as in the singly reinforced uh, charts, the vertical axis is still similar, m over bd square. Horizontal here is also similar. It is a, a reinforcement ratio of tension steel, the AS. We can get it from this chart. This is a reinforcement ratio. And then here, the difference is we have in this side, we have different curves, but all of them uh, are for concrete compressive strengths, 25 in this case, or 30 or 35 based on the chart. But why we have different uh, curves here? Because each curve is representing the reinforcement ratio of compression steel, the compression steel reinforcement ratio, starting from zero, means in this case there is no compression steel and therefore we should go back to the singly reinforced uh, uh, figure or chart we can use it then we can move now to uh, reinforcement ratio 0.5 1 1.5 2 until going to 4 percent so each curve of this is representing a reinforcement ratio for the compression steel we have here also uh, three values, x over d. This is x over d, starting from 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. And according to the BS code, the x over d cannot exceed 0 0.5. So this line here, you should ensure that you will not exceed this line when we choose the value of intersection here. And I'm going to explain this in the coming few uh, minutes. So what do we have here? Usually we'll have the dimensions will be given or you will assume it uh, based on your experience and as we learned in other videos FCU, F yield and the M alternate what is required? The area of steel tension steel and compression steels what are the steps? just to concentrate with me and you will learn how to do that the first step is to calculate the K as usual because at the beginning I don't know if this section will be singly or doubly so calculate the K in this case it will be greater than 0.156 it means I will go to double reinforced rectangular section then we calculate M over BD square which is the value that we have it here and then we choose the suitable chart okay chart 3, 4, 5, 6 or whatever based on the FCU, F field and D dash over D then we go horizontal we will intersect with the curve, all of these curves, but we uh, choose the curve with minimum AS dash, provided that X over D is less than 0.5. So when you go and intersect, let's say you have uh, M over BD square, uh, it is eight. So if you will go intersect here, you will intersect with this curve at 1%, compression steel reinforcement ratio, but this point is, going behind or after the x over d of 0.5 so we cannot use this one because if we use this one we have will have a compression failure of the cross section so it is not allowed to go behind this line so if this one the intersection is behind we have to move to the uh, higher compression steel reinforcement ratio so we'll intersect with this curve yes this point is correct because it is before the x over d of 0.5 then we can go down to get the area of tension steel and we have the area of the compression steel so once we did that we uh, get the number and choose the suitable diameter of bars okay let's clarify this by solving an example together let's do that in this example we have uh, the same cross section B equal to 150, D is 700, but the moment here in this case is 900 kilonewton meter, much higher than the previous example. Everything else is the same. So let's see, calculate K as usual. K is in this case greater than 0.156. So this means compression reinforcement is required. Okay. So we calculate M over BD square, it is 7.35. This is we needed because the value here is the value that we needed for the vertical axis. And we have to choose the suitable chart. So for F field 460 megapascal, FCU 40, D dash over D point one. So we have to use the chart uh, number 12. Here, why we use D dash over D is point one because it is given in the problem here. If it is not given and you have the value of d dash and d, you have to get the 
uh, ratio between D dash and D and use the uh, one which is close to, even if you have it like 0 0.0 line, so take it as 0.1 or 0.11, take it as also 0.1. Let's uh, apply this in the chart. We calculated the value. It was 7 here, points uh, 35. So we will go at from this 7.35, we will go horizontal until we'll intersect with the curves. Okay, so with the first curve here with 0% uh, or no compression steel, we can see it will intersect at this point and it will give us a reinforcement ratio of tension steel 2.85, about that value 2.85, but we have a problem here. What is the problem? X over D at this point is exceeding the value of X over D 0.5, which is the maximum value by the BS code. So we cannot accept that value and we cannot say we will use only tension steel with no compression steel because if you did that, you will have a compression failure and therefore this will be a bad design. This is wrong, will not be accepted. So what we should do, we have to move to the higher reinforcement ratio. The zero didn't work, so we'll go to 0.5. Okay, let's see the intersection here with 0.5. It is somewhere at this point. Yes, it is before the x over d of 0.5 so this is acceptable value so we can intersect here with this one and then we will go down so it will be this curve here you go intersect with this 0.5 because zero percent didn't work so we'll try 0.5 it works so we'll go down and then we will be able to get the area of tension steel the reinforcement ratio here it is 2, 2.1, 2.2, so it is 2.2%. The reinforcement ratio for compression steel, it will be 0.5% because we use the curve of 0.5. And the X over D in this case, it is somehow between 0 0.5 and 0 0.4. We can say 0 0.45, 0 0.43, it doesn't matter. But you should ensure that X over D will be less than uh, 0.5. We'll not go higher than 0.5, otherwise it will be wrong design once we get the reinforcement ratio we can just change this to calculate the area of extension steel and compression steel here we use uh, 2t25 for the compression steel and 8t25 for the tension steel and this is the as provided and as provided thank you for watching this is the end of this video uh, please if you like the video don't forget to uh, subscribe share uh, and click the bell to receive all uh, notifications. Thank you for watching and see you in uh, a coming video. Goodbye.